Hey, what's up you guys? Tank from New Republic and today I have a different kind of video compared to what I usually do on this channel. Today I'm going to do a video game collection video because I thought it would be interesting and wanted to share my collection with you. I only play on consoles and handhelds. I have games for 12 different consoles. The console that I collect slash play the most on is the Xbox 360. Let's get right to it. Alright, so we're going to start off with Nintendo and then we'll move to PlayStation and then we'll move to Xbox. I'm going to try to go through each game as quick as I can because I've got over... 100 games, I've got about 117 give or take, um, so I'm going to try to go through these pretty quickly so that way it's not an hour long video. So first things first, starting off with the SNES, um, the only game that I have for it is Super Mario All-Stars. Um, I just bought this just so that I could have multiple games on one cartridge and it was cheaper for me, I think it was like 20 bucks whenever I bought it quite a while ago. Um, the label's really good, it's not peeling off at all on the front here and it's smooth, there's no scratches, and then the back it's really good. Not peeling, but there is a little scratch down there. Alright, so moving on to the next console, which will be the Game Boy. Alright, so moving on to the next console, we've got the Game Boy. Um, first things first, I've got Pokemon Red, which I played a little bit of. I never really was in the Pokemon games as a kid, um, but I got Pokemon Red. My friend just gave me a, a Game Boy Color, a purple one, and he had that in there, and he said I could have it. And then I've got four advanced games. I've got board games... Classics, quality, um, checkers is fun, Namco Museum, really fun, um, I played this a lot as a kid, especially playing Galaga, uh, and then Golden Golden Nugget Casino, uh, I played that one a little bit, and then Monsters Inc., I played that, but I think I got more confused than actually playing it, and I didn't really know where to go, but yeah, moving on to the next Nintendo console. Alright, so moving on to the last Nintendo console that I have handheld is the 3DS. And the reason that I had the SNES in the handheld category is because I play that on the RDP, which is the Retro Duo Portable, and you can play SNES games and NES games on the go. So, yeah. Um, so, Nintendo 3DS, first game I've got is Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. I've never played this game. I bought it, I just, when I got the 3DS. Um, and I've never played it. Um, I've never played a Donkey Kong game in general, so I've never played that one either. Uh, Mario Kart 7, I played this one quite a bit. I do enjoy Mario Kart. Um, my favorite Mario Kart is still Mario Kart Wii, but this one's really fun, especially fun to play Mario Kart on the go. Mario Party Island Tour, I played this one I think a decent amount. Pretty good game, moving on. Um, New Super Mario Bros. 2, another great Mario game for um, Nintendo. This one's pretty cool just because of all the coins and stuff. I think I beat that game, I don't remember. Um, Paper Mario Sticker Star, that one was pretty fun. I enjoyed the sticker aspect of it. <laughs> Moving on, this one I bought at GameStop and then I they gave me the cheap black case, but then just for collector aspect I printed off the label just so that whenever it's sitting in the collection it still looks like it's somewhat legit, except obviously it's black. This one's really fun, um, playing a Mario game in 3D. Um, besides, like, Super Mario 64 is really cool. Um, and then Scribblenauts Unlimited, this is my first and only Scribblenauts game, and it was pretty fun just to mess around and try to get all the, the little golden stars on each level. Alright, moving on to the last Nintendo console. Alright, so moving on to the last Nintendo console, I've got the infamous Wii. I've got quite a few games in cases, and I've got some that are just in uh, little... Um, CD covers. So, let's see, starting off, I've got Game Party. Um, whenever I was using my Wii, most often I would be playing it with friends, and so this just gave me more options to do so. Um, Super Mario Galaxy, whenever I owned my Wii for the first time, I played this game almost all the way through, and I haven't played the second one at all, but I heard it was pretty good. Um, Namco Museum Remix. I don't know how I ended up with this one. I think I probably, if I bought it, it was just because it was a good value and it had 14 games. We play one of my favorite Wii games, surprisingly. Um, it's really fun to play with people, and I really enjoy the um, tank game and the um, like shooting range kind of game. Uh, and then Wii Sports. And I wish I had the actual case for this one. The most popular ones, the LC, is in like the cardboard. But I've got this one, and it, the store that I bought it from, they print out their own covers, and so, yeah, once again, it has a black case. Um, not a white one, just like the, um, what was it, uh, Super Mario 3D Land. 
Okay, moving on to just CD games. Mario Party 8, great party game. That's one of my favorites, actually. Chicken Shoot, classic. And then New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And then my favorite Mario Kart, Mario Kart Wii, and that's what I've played the most. And then Super Paper Mario, I don't think I've actually ever played this. So yeah, moving on to PlayStation consoles. Alrighty, so moving into PlayStation consoles, the first thing that we got is handhelds, and I've got the PS Vita. I do own a PSP, but I don't really have any games, and I haven't played that in a long time, so it's kind of irrelevant. Um, fun fact, I had the PS Vita before I had a PS3 or a PS4. I had already played on a PS2 and a PS1, but I had a PSP, like I said, back in the day, and I played that a lot, and so I just wanted to get the newer PSP, because um, that's what I was familiar with. First thing I've got is back... Batman, Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate. Um, I played this for maybe a solid five minutes, and then I was like, I don't like this, and so I haven't played it since. Next thing I've got is Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified. Um, pretty cool to have um, COD on handheld, but you know, with um, dual thumbsticks is a lot better. And then it also came with a, a second free game, which was Call of Duty Roads to Victory, and that was pretty fun to play that. Next thing I've got is Killzone Mercenary. Um, first Killzone that I ever played, and that's what kind of launched me into buying the PS4 and then the PS3, just to play more exclusives like Killzone. A Little Big Planet, awesome platforming slash 3D-ish game. Um, once again, first Little Big Planet, and I love it, and then that's kind of what launched me into buying the other consoles. The Rayman Origins, I played it through... Um, I didn't really pay attention to much. All I knew is I was jumping around collecting little stuff and there was a lot of levels. Um, it's pretty fun though. Um, Tearaway, really, really cool game. Really interactive and we would get to use like the, you can see right here, the back touch, um, I guess, screen, quote unquote. Um, really cool. And then first Uncharted that I ever played, Uncharted Golden Abyss. Uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really cool, especially because I had never played any Uncharted, so I didn't have anything to compare it to. And then Unit 13, this one was pretty cool. Um, it gets talked about a little bit, but it's a pretty good third-person shooter. So yeah, moving on to other PlayStation consoles. So moving on to actual PlayStation consoles and on handhelds that we got. First thing is PS1. I only own one game for the PS1. Um, because, one, I don't actually own a PS1, but you can play PS1 games on PS2, and also I don't own a PS1 memory card, so I can't actually play this game. Uh, and I think I tried to play it one time, and it was interesting. Um, so, obviously, first Medal of Honor, and I got the Collector's Edition. There was a time where I was going to collect all of the Medal of Honor games and all of the Call of Duty games, and even, like, all of the Mario games and stuff. I don't know why, because I wasn't going to play any of them, I was just going to collect them. Um... So, yeah, apparently this is a part of a set, and I don't remember what all was in the set, but if you look in here, there's other sets. There's a racing pack and an EA sports pack. Um, but, yeah, moving on to the PS2. So, PS2, I've got two games for. Um, I mainly bought the PS2 just for nostalgia. Um... PS2 was my very first console, so it's pretty um, close to me. Medal of Honor Vanguard, that was my first Medal of Honor game and my first like really good shooter game that I ever played. Um, really, really good game. It's pretty short, but it's a um, pretty good game. And then Transformers the game. I love Transformers. I've been watching them since 2007. I just saw the new one, and just it's going to explode as a franchise. Um, but yeah, that, that's a really, really good game. Moving on to PS3. Alright, so for PS3, no, I don't own three PS3 games to the PS3, unfortunately, I do have more. So first things first, I got this included with the PS3. I didn't even know that it was in the box, but I had heard that people were getting it, and it was just thrown in mind. It didn't say anything on the box, but I opened it up, and sure enough, I got it. So LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Um, these games are long, and that's what makes them such a good value, is LEGO games, you can play them over and over and always get more and more characters and you know, more money and stuff. And so I... Wasn't going to go through all the way of this game. I knew that playing it, but um, it was nice that whenever I brought it home, I already had a game to play, which was cool. Uh, next game I've got Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I don't usually buy like games like this that 
You can play on other consoles. I bought my PS3 for exclusives, um, but this one I played with a friend that only had it on um, PS3. Shout out to Thrash. Um, so yeah. Next game, obviously, we're getting into exclusives now. Heavy Rain, great game um, where you get to, you know, choose. Is this one? Yeah, you get to choose your dialogue and stuff, and um, just kind of, almost in a sense, not to really write your own story, but it's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like a telltale game in a way. Um, but yeah, really cool if you haven't played it. The Killzone Trilogy, um, really, really cool to just go through, you know, the exclusives of PlayStation. Um, yeah. And then we'll get into, at the end, I have the collector's edition, uh, collector's edition of Killzone 3. Little Big Planet, the first one, um, Game of the Year edition, where it came with like some extra content and stuff. I think I bought this, I think I bought it used at Best Buy. But yeah, Little Big Planet on the console, really cool, because you get to do more stuff compared to on the Vita. And then I also have Little Big Planet 2. I don't own the third one, unfortunately, and then when I do, I'll buy it for the PS4. I should probably buy it, because it's probably dirt cheap at this point. But yeah, second one. Resistance, Fall of Man, really cool there. Um, I think at one point it was dubbed like the COD Killers, what they were trying to do, or was that with Killzone? I don't remember. Um, but really, really fun game. I've got all three of them, and I don't know which one I like the best. The first one's, you know, always seems like really good, and then they make the second one, and then the third one's kind of like losing it, but um, I enjoyed all of them. So, the second one, Resistance 2, really good story also, and then Resistance 3. And then moving on to Uncharted games, uh, Uncharted Drake's Fortune, uh, like I said, more exclusives, don't really have much more to say, Uncharted 2, Among Thieves, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception, all fantastic games, and I have yet to play the fourth one, and then they just announced Uncharted 5, I don't remember what the subtitle was for that one, but yeah, so I'll get Uncharted 4 real soon. Moving on to the PS4. Going on to the PS4, funny enough, I only own four games for the PS4 at this point. Um, I bought the PS4 before I bought the PS3, just because it was the current gen console. First thing I've got is Killzone Shadowfall. Um, obviously way different than the other Killzones, because it's kind of more of like an open world-ish kind of thing. It's interesting. I've played it once and that's about it. Minecraft! Um, I don't remember why I bought it on the PS4. Um, I think it was just for playing with friends, but I don't really remember doing that. And I think it was also, it's pretty cheap, it was only 20 bucks, and I've been playing Minecraft forever, and I enjoy it. Um, not for the ironicness, I do truly enjoy it. Um, The Last of Us Remastered, I have heard of this game whenever it was on the PS3, and I was like, well, I don't have a PS3, and then the remastered one came out, and it was amazing. I played it, and I'm so excited for the sequel, um, but unfortunately, they haven't even announced the... Like, they, they announced that they're making the sequel, but they didn't give any more details at E3, which is kind of disappointing. Um, first collector's edition that we're getting to here, um, the Order 1886, the one that they said you can beat in like four hours, which I think is true, I think I beat it in five, but um, there was a time where I wanted to buy a lot of collector's editions, so I bought this one. Um, and then we'll get more into it later when we go back to the collector's editions. Alright, so I think we're all done with... PlayStation consoles, and now we'll be moving to Xbox. Alright, so starting off with Xbox consoles, I have the original Xbox here. First game I have is Black. I originally played this on the PS2, and I played it a lot on the PS2. Um, really, really cool first-person shooter game. Um, some people call it the godfather of first-person shooters. It's just a really, really great game. Um, story is decent, but the gameplay is just outstanding. So, if you haven't played Black, I probably would recommend getting on the PS2 over the Xbox. At the time, I only had the original Xbox. I didn't have the PS2 yet, so I was like, oh, I, I just want to play this game again. Um, just really, really great game. Remember I was talking about collecting all the Call of Duties at one point? Here's Call of Duty Finest Hour. I really, I didn't finish it, but I really enjoyed the tank part of this game, if it's what I'm thinking of. But yeah. Um, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. I don't think I ever played this game. 
I just got it from a friend, and I also have Tom Clancy Ghost Recon 2 in there, Advanced Warfighter, um, for the 360, but yeah, I never played that. I've also got GTA 3. Um, I think I tried to play this one, but it just didn't cooperate on my system, and the con the disc isn't even that scratched up, but yeah, it kind of sucked, because I don't want to do and um, you know actually go through and play it. Like I said, there was also time when I was going to collect all the GTAs. Um, but yeah, remember that Medal of Honor thing? So here's European Assault. I think I tried to play this one, um, but I don't think I ever finished it. Oh yes, um, I think I bought this mainly just because I had it on the PS2 back in the day, and I should really play through the campaign, but. Great Star Wars game. I've actually, I didn't, you know, I don't have PC games, but actually that's one of the few games that I have on the PC, but I haven't played it in forever. Remember the Medal of Honor thing? Here's Medal of Honor Frontline. And then also one of people's all-time favorite Star Wars games, Star Wars Republic Commander. This is one of my more, I guess, prized possessions, you could say. Um, it's super scratched up, though. But I've never had any problems, hey, yeah, that's me, any problems running it, but super scratched up. So moving on to the Xbox 360. Okay, so like I mentioned in the intro, the game that I collect the most for and play the most on is the Xbox 360. So I think I've got, I have 52 games for this console, so we're gonna try to move quickly here. First things first I've got is an Aliens Colonial Marines. This is the only Aliens game I've played um, Apparently a lot of people like hated it. Um, I thought it was really fun actually, and that's why you'll see later that I bought the collector's edition for it. But it's I can understand why it's kind of weird, but I really liked it. I don't know, I didn't have anything to compare it to. Um, Army of Two. I wanted to try to get all of these, but I got this one recently, and I played it a long time in the past, and I remember not liking it, and then I got it again. And I remember why I didn't like it. I don't like the whole. It's like the like Fury system or whatever. I don't like that. I don't know why. I'll try to play it more and see if I can like it, but I don't I don't like it. Assassin's Creed 3, this is the GameStop edition. Um, I've never really played Assassin's Creed that much, but I got this one from a buddy, and I played it all the way through. It was pretty fun to do that, but I don't think I'm more of an assassin kind of person. I think I'm more of a run and gun kind of person, so. Uh, Battlefield 3 Premium Edition. Uh, Battlefield's my favorite multiplayer shooter ever. Um, and so then buying the premium edition allowed me to get all the map packs. Especially playing with friends at that point, I didn't have um, any of the map packs, so it was um, a great deal for me. And then we've got Battlefield 4, um, most played uh, multiplayer game that I have. I have over 500 hours, and that's not much compared to most people, but as you can see, I play a lot of other games. Bioshock. Can we talk about Bioshock for a second? If you haven't played Bioshock, and you have a 360, you're missing out. It is such a great game, such a great story. Um, one of the greatest plot twists of all time in a video game, do I say. Um, but yeah, great, great game. Oh look, Bioshock 2. Also, really good story, and um, you're still in Rapture, and it's just a great game. And then Bioshock Infinite, I got the complete edition, which gave me all the DLC, which is pretty cool, because in the DLC you go back to Rapture. Um, pretty cool. Uh, Body Count. Um, I bought this game, I didn't really know what I was getting into, but it was pretty fun. It wasn't exactly what I was expecting, but I enjoyed it. The story was pretty good. Remember the whole Call of Duty thing? <laughs> okay, now that that's over. So, uh, COD 2, COD 3, COD 4, World at War, uh, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, and Modern Warfare 3 and Ghost. Okay. Um, Crisis 2 Limited Edition. I played this a while back. Um, you know, like I guess I, I want to say like before like I started buying games again. Um, and whenever my dad brought it home one time and he said it's basically a um, if Call of Duty and Halo had a kid. It's basically what it is and it's pretty much true. Um, really really cool game. And then I've also got Crisis 3 which I definitely think Crisis 2 was better, but I got the Hunter Edition, and so yeah, uh, let me get some more games here. Okay, oh boy. Alright, 
let's see here. First thing we've got, Dead Island. Really, really cool open world um, zombie game. Pretty good story, too. This is a really, really fun game where you can, you know, get different upgrades for your weapons and stuff. Uh, Dead Island Riptide, the sequel to Dead Island. Um, really cool. I enjoyed it. It was um, fun going around in the... What is it? Not the swamps. Ah, uh, what's it called? The... I forgot. It's the things underground, and... I forgot. Far Cry compilation. Awesome. Far Cry 2 was meh. Far, Far Cry 3 was great. Far Cry Blood Dragon was <laughs> one of the best games. It's really funny because it, it knows that it's a video game, so it makes fun of itself. It's great. Um, Fear. Really great game. Um, it's got a pretty cool story, and it's kind of eerie and stuff. Um, it's kind of long. Not really, but it's really good. I enjoyed that. It's kind of spooky. And then just yesterday, I picked up Fear 2. So I have yet to play this one, but I'm hoping for good results. It's it set, like, right before the end of the first game. I think if I read the back correctly, so yeah. Gears of War. Gears of War is great. I just picked up this one yesterday. I've got, um, I've already played it and everything, but I have the collector's edition. And I didn't have an actual, just regular Gears of War copy, so I got that one. And then I got the second one, and then I got the third one. Um, but yeah, I think the Gears of War... Yeah, the third one I do have the Platinum Hits disc, but I changed out the cover. Um, Gears of War Judgment, pretty cool because you get to like make your own decisions um, as far as like difficulty and stuff. So yeah. Yes. Uh, GTA 4, classic. And then I've also got GTA 5, another classic. And then Halo Wars, um, I enjoyed it. Strategy game, I haven't played the second one yet. But yeah, uh, let me get some more games here. Jump cut. Alright, so continuing with Halos, because Halo Reach was in the last part. Um, got Halo Reach here. And then Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. And then we've got Halo 3, and then this is the... Um, I think it's what, like the Prestige Edition. That's why it's like the black and white um, cover. Um, and then Halo 3 ODST. By the way, I don't have the Prestige Edition. Prestige edition of Halo 3. I just happened to end up with the disc. Um, Halo 3 ODST, and then I've also got the map pack for Halo 3 in there. Uh, Halo 4. And a really cool game that some people like, some people don't. Homefront. I've enjoyed it. I played it twice. Uh, it's really cool because it talks about like you know like North Korea taking over America, and you're like a resistance fighter and stuff, and so it's really cool. And I just bought the Revolution, Homefront the Revolution on the Xbox One. Inversion, um, you can find this game pretty cheap, and it's really cool, and it's the plot of it's really, really interesting. Um, I had a lot of fun with this game. Medal of Honor Warfighter Limited Edition, I didn't do anything except for play through the um, campaign of this game. So yeah, really cool. Okay, I've got some more games already set up here. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, Ground Zeroes. I tried to play through this. I had no idea what was going on. I have no... I am not familiar with this story whatsoever, but I have it, and I haven't really gotten rid of it at this point yet. Metro. Can we talk about Metro? This is a great game series. I played Last Light first. It was actually a gold member game for free on Xbox, and I played it. I thought it was amazing, and then I found out that there was a first game for it. Um, and if I remember collect, yeah, if I remember correctly, this one's set after this first one, and so it's kind of cool to play this one and then play this one as a prequel in my head, instead of playing the first one and then playing the second one. Um, just really, really great games. Just, oh man, they're so good. If you haven't played Metro, play them. Just take my word for it. And they just announced Metro Exodus, which hopefully they don't screw up because it kind of looks like an open world, but I don't think they will. Mirror's Edge. Parkour Lover's Dream. I haven't played, was it, uh, not Parkour, um, Mirror's Edge, I think Catalyst is the second one. But yeah, I played this one just because I heard about it, and it was pretty good. Operation Flashpoint Dragon Rising, um, a more realistic style shooter. Graphics aren't amazing, but gameplay is really cool. And then there's also, it's Operation Flashpoint, I think, like Red River or something. Um, I need to get that one. It's, a, I think, a sequel to that one. Portal 2. Classic. Rage. Not a very heard of um, open world RPG game by Bethesda. Um, I pre-ordered it back in the day and then I rebought it. It's really, really fun. You can 
do all kinds of different stuff. You can like, just one thing that came to my head is you can compete in like races and then upgrade your car. Um, really, really cool game. And then I also bought, because it was Anarchy Edition, it came with the um, DLC for it. The next thing I've got is Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year. Unfortunately, trying to play um, Undead Nightmare, it wouldn't work, and then the zombies would just turn back into normal people and wouldn't chase after me. It was really weird, but I played Red Dead Redemption. It was pretty fun. Skyrim, classic. I've never really dove deep into Skyrim. I've just played it every once in a while. I do enjoy it, and there's so much to get into, but I haven't. Sniper Elite 3, I've only played this one. I think Sniper Elite 4 is set in Nazi Germany, and I think that would be interesting. Really cool whenever you know the whole x-ray kill cam and stuff. And it's also cool like with using like different things to cover up your shots. Um, and sneaking around's fun. Another sneaking around sniper game. Sniper Ghost Warrior. Um, good game. This is a steelbook. I just happened to get it because I was at the store at GameStop trying to buy it and they had one but it was like in like a normal case like this but it was like falling apart and I was like you got anything better and he looked through it and he found the steel case and he was like how about the steel case so I got the steel case for normal price typically I don't like steel cases but this one has the name displayed on the side so that way I can still see what it is um, compared to like the order 1886 where it doesn't have anything on the side which sucks it just looks like a little black case sitting there spec ops the line <laughs> story man story on this game is really good and it's also a good third person shooter um play this one if you haven't the orange box great game um what sucks is on this one half-life i tried i i played uh, um the half-life 2 and then i played episode 1 but i can't load episode 2 and it sucks it, it, I try to load it and then it just freezes and so I never know how the story ends on that one. But yeah, that's all of my Xbox 360 games and so now we're going to move to the Xbox One. Alright, so last console I've got here is the Xbox One, but make sure to stay tuned because we're going to be going over Collector's Edition afterwards. First thing I've got is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I got this game right when I got my Xbox just because my buddy had it and he wanted to play a multiplayer game because we played a lot of Battlefield on the 360. Um, yes, we could have bought it for the Xbox One, but we didn't. I really want to play the zombies in this game, though, because I haven't yet. Speaking of zombies, um, Dying Light here. This is made by the same people that made um, Dead Island, so it's really cool, but it's more of a, a parkour game. I no, it's, like, it's like Dead Island, but now you, have, you can get around a lot easier, um, and it's really fun because then you can do a lot of cool combos with that concept. Um, Far Cry 4... Just because I played the other Far Cry's, I wanted to play that one, and it was good. Destiny, why is there no story? Halo the Master Chief Collection, I bought this simply because I haven't, I, uh, at the time I hadn't played Halo 2. I know what kind of gamer am I, um, but yeah, that was uh, cool just to play them all again and uh, play Halo 2 for the first time, which, you know, bridged that gap for me. Sunset Overdrive, really cool game, um, exclusive. Um, that's also just kind of, it's one of those games where it makes fun of itself, um, and it was completely different from what I, you know, imagined. Um, it was really fun. I made, like, a this super beefy black character, and it was fun. Um, Titanfall, probably the game that I played the most multiplayer on. No story, but I've heard the second one has a better story, so I'm looking forward to that. But multiplayer is really fun, and I've been getting back into it more and more recently. Oh, yes. One of my favorite games on the Xbox One at this point, and also I guess it's on the PS4, but my favorite Wolfenstein game that I've ever played, and I've only played this one, so it's kind of biased, but Wolfenstein The New Order, um, man, when I got it, I was just blown away, just, it was just so good, um, uh, and they just announced Wolfenstein The New Colossus, oh yes, I'm pumped for that game, um, and I'm also going to try to buy the original, well, it's not the original Wolfenstein, but it's like Wolfenstein on the Xbox 360 and it's got on the cover it's got like the I think it's a Nazi officer that's like electrocuted or something and I want to play that one just because I loved Wolfenstein so much but yeah so let's move on to um, collector's editions I think this video is already really long so I'll try to power through those and we'll be done Alrighty, so jumping into collector's editions, I've got five collector's editions, and then I've got some other 
good little game stuff that I'm going to show you. First thing that I've got here is um, the Order 1886, and this is the um, statue that you get with it, and it's really cool because it's, I don't know if they designed it like this, but I use it as a bookend. Um, it's really cool because it looks like he's hiding um, behind the books. Um, really well sculpted. I don't remember this guy's name. I'm sorry, little dude. Um, but yeah. And then this is the steel book, and then it's got, it came with some extra outfits and some stickers, and I already took one off. Um, yeah. Moving on, let's go to one of these guys. I got DSX Human Revolution Augment Augmented Edition. I tried to play this game. I played it for, I think, a couple hours, and then I kind of was just like, this game's kind of weird. So it wasn't my cup of tea. But I got this collector's edition from a friend before I even played it, so... Um, yeah, it's got an art book, and then it's got this kind of cool, um, like, trifold thing with the extra disc. Um, like I said, I like having the actual game in a normal case more than this stuff. Um, so, yeah. Moving on, I've got the original Gears of War Collector's Edition. Um, once again, as you saw earlier, I bought the game by itself like this because I like having those um, for the collection. I don't like having these. Um, but yeah, bonus disc here and the game there. Great game. Just got a little steelbook. Once again, it was from the same friend. Um, pretty cool his artwork back there and the guys. Um, let's do this one here. This is the Aliens Colonial Marines Collector's Edition and it's got the little um, statue where you're fighting um, a xenomorph inside of that little, like, robot suit. I forgot what it's called. It's been too long. Um, but yeah. Let's see. Blah, 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 da, 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 da. It's called a power loader fighting a xenomorph. Um, so a power loader fighting a xenomorph. And then you get some, like, extra stuff in game. And then you also get, like, um, iron on patches, which are kind of cool. And then this packet, which I don't remember what all's in here. It's been too long. I think it's just like, oh, this is actually kind of, this stuff's kind of cool. Is this a sticker? No. Oh, okay, this is kind of cool. Um, so, it's got all kinds of stuff in here. The thing this first one is a fold-out blueprint, the <laughs> blueprint of the Sephora, which I believe is their game. I've actually ripped it. It's pretty cool because it's like semi-transparent. Let's see, I ripped it right there. Um, that's actually kind of cool. And there's some other stuff in here, and I think these have already been redeemed. Or if not, they're expired. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, they're already expired, so I can show you them. If you can somehow manage to get those, you can have them. This is a mission briefing. And it's supposed to look like it's, you know, official and stuff, and it's got like, um, uh, like the little holes on the side, I don't know what those are for. This is a propaganda poster for Be the Face of Your Country, U.S. Colonial Marines. Um, and this is, you're supposed to sign this yourself, which makes it look really dumb, but, um, this is a certificate that whoever has satisfied, completed, um, Colonial Marine Academy training and has graduated with honors. And then you're supposed to fill it in. That's, that's a little too much for me. And then this is cool. This is a picture of um, Hadley's Hope Perimeter. Um, and this was pretty cool. It just has a whole bunch of eggs. And that's pretty cool. Um, it looks like a, what is it called? <sighs> I forgot. The, forgot that type of camera. But yeah, moving on from that, I forgot that all that stuff was in the packet. It's actually kind of cool. And you can also, like, hang up that stuff if you're so inclined to do so. Last collector's edition. Oh, man. Oh, man. Barely fits in frame. This is the Killzone 3 collector's edition. Um, at the time, I got it for pretty cheap, and it's probably even cheaper now. So you just undo these two tubes, and then this whole head comes off, and it reveals um, you've got Killzone 3 here by itself. I, I just keep it in here. Just I don't want to put it up there because I've already got the Killzone trilogy. And then there's also some codes in there, and then you've also got the uh, art book. Um, it's really cool. Video games are an art. Um, so yeah. Really cool, and then it's got like, you can see it right there, it's got like, you know, like, 
hidden print stuff on there. But really cool. Um, it's kind of one of those things where you just look at it every once in a while and then you put it back. Um, but this is cool just because it's sitting on my um, desk with this Hellgast soldier here. And then the whole base is the Hellgast logo. So, oh, I've got a couple more things. I've just got some extra video game stuff that I've gotten over the years. This is an Eve Hypo. Um, this is the how you refill your abilities in um, Bioshock. So it lights up just like in the game and you inject it straight into your vein. And then I've also got, this was I think a GameStop Rewards thing. It's a, it's a Booker DeWitt character um, from Bioshock Infinite. And then one final thing that I want to add in here is you've probably seen it throughout the intro is that I've made my own um, Perka Colas. So I've got Juggernaut here, I've got Double Tap, Speed Cola, um, Quick Revive, and then I've got PhD Flopper. Um, yeah, I, I made the original four and then my favorite perk from the newer ones whenever Black Ops. So now there's so many perks. But yeah, that's about it. I don't know how long this video is. I'm guessing it's close-ish to 20 to 30 minutes at this point, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any suggestions for games or stuff that I should buy, leave them down below. Tell me what your favorite game was. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. God bless, and we'll see you guys next time.